I have had some people asking me how to create designs like these in Cricut Design Space. So that's what I'm going to show today. We're going to start off by going to Images. And then I'm going to click on Disney because I'm going to need a Mickey Mouse icon. There's a lot of new stuff in here, which is super cool. You do have to purchase your Disney designs because they are licensed designs. So if I click here on Mickey and Friends, I'm going to see just the Mickey Mouse ones. This is actually another design I was going to show how to do, but for $2, you can just buy it here. Ooh, that's fun too. Oh, that's so cute. Now, I know that I've already purchased some different Disney designs. So I'm also going to filter to purchased. For the Mickey, I really just need this. But as long as I'm in here, let's see if I have a mini mouse. Oh, I have the bow. Okay, let's start with the Mickey one first. So then the other thing I'm going to want are some stars. And there are stars in here. So I'm doing this one first. In just a Mickey Mouse. I am going to make this, let's go 10 inches wide, just to make it nice and big. You can see when you click on this arrow over here, there are different layers. I don't need this just half of a red piece, so I'm going to get rid of that. And there are some layers that are turned off that I'm also not going to need. So all I really need is this Mickey Mouse. Now what I'm going to do is make a whole bunch of copies of this star because what I want to do is scatter a bunch of stars all over everywhere. So I'm going to make a blue one, a red one, and a white one. And now I can just start placing them kind of close to the edge when I'm, I'm working some of these designs. And now I can hold my shift key and select all of those and click duplicate. So now I duplicated all of those at the same time. And now I'm going to size them all up together because I want stars of different sizes too. And now I can start to kind of work my design and figure out where I want the different stars. And I'm just going to keep doing this over and over again. And making sure that I'm putting some red and some white and some blue in different locations. And then I can size this one down. Okay, so what I did was I just kept doing copy and paste and resizing all of those stars all over everywhere. And I was using the Mickey Mouse head as my kind of template. So now I could just turn this off. And you see what I'm left with is the shape of Mickey Mouse. I could even turn that back on. And then if I wanted to change the operation of it to a guide, you could see it. So what would that look like if I put it on, I don't know, a gray shirt? If I use my shape, 
That's how it would look on a gray t-shirt. Now I could make more so it really fills in here tight. Here is another way you could do this same idea. I found a star design pattern that I liked. So I'm going to upload that and I'm going to use my magic wand to remove all the white and I'm going to make sure I also click inside these stars to get the white in there. And I can zoom in so that I can see things better. I could do a preview. That looks good. Apply and continue. And I want to do this as a single layer. And I can even add star here when I upload it so it's tagged. Now I'm going to make that, let's make that 11 inches. Oops, that didn't work. Okay, make sure that's locked. Change the size to 11. I could even go smaller. Now I can select both the stars and the Mickey and do intersect that just left where they intersected. So that was a very big pattern, so that didn't really work good. So I would need a lot more stars in there in order to get it to work. Or, ooh, let's do this. If we make this three inches wide, that's gonna work. All right, if I take all of these and align them to the top. Actually, this one, okay, to make sure these are evenly spaced and perfectly grouped together, I'm going to move this position to three. So now this is right at three, this edge. And I know that this is three inches wide. So that means this one should be right at six. And then this one should be right at nine. So now if I select all of those and weld them together, it's one piece. And I can copy and paste it here. And let's use a line to the left. Two, nine. And now I'm going to weld that together. So basically what I'm doing here is making my own big pattern. And now I can weld that together. So now when I take this whole design and put the Mickey inside of it, I can select all of that and use intersect and it's just going to leave what's intersecting or overlapping. So that's another way to do a star pattern. If you wanted to make a Mickey Mouse flag, This flag, what I'm going to do is ungroup it. And then I'm going to turn all of those off just for a minute. And I'm going to make three copies of this Mickey because I'm going to want three colors. Select all of those and align them so they're centered on top of each other. And let's just make this eight for. So then I'm going to want one of these to be red. And this one I'm going to use for my white. 
and this one I'm going to use for my blue. I'm just doing this so that I can focus on one shape at a time. So let's start with the red piece. Now I want to turn on the red layer from the flag. And if I select both of those and do intersect, it's just going to leave where they were intersecting. And so now let's turn on the white and the white of the flag and do the same thing. Combine intersect. And blue. Combine intersect. Okay, this one we wanted blue. So now when I turn all of these on, it made Mickey Mouse into a flag. Here's another one. If you want to go to images and let's search pattern. There's all kinds of patterns in here. That's kind of fun. So I could take a pattern like this and put it right over the top of Mickey. I can even use a line to center that and then combine and intersect. And it's just going to leave where those pieces intersected. I know I also mentioned a Mickey Mouse peace sign. So a peace sign is just a circle with some lines. And yes, I know they have a Mickey Mouse one. If I go under licensed and Disney, we can see that right there. But we could replicate something like this. If I just put in a shape of a circle, And let's align that so it's centered horizontally. And now I'm going to use subtract to get rid of that center. Now I can put a shape in there again. And actually, let's just do this. So now I can see what I'm trying to make. So with this piece, what I want is a straight down and then I want the little V. So basically what I'm trying to create is this in inner area. So let's go to shapes, insert square and make it long and skinny and Line that so it's centered and subtract that. Okay, so now that created this portion, this straight line. Now we need the little B. And I'm going to rotate this 45 degrees. Make a copy. Flip it horizontally and let's align the tops of those. And now if I weld those together, and place them right about there, maybe up a little higher. and align that so it's centered horizontally. And now use combine and subtract. And now I created my own Mickey Mouse piece sign to go in the center. Before you go, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. 
I love to hear from you.